Hello and welcome to Sacramento 3 TV. This is the Snowman's Mortar Oil series here at Martinsville. And starting to pull Zigzagoon, last race winner, he won at Phoenix after late race pass on Souls Wilmot, so that's interesting. Points lead situation hasn't changed up much. The gap between first and second is 37 points. Uh, same odds can still holding it. Uh, but the tie for second in points, there's a tie between Exo and Marker Lennard. Uh, for that spot. And then the two Red Bull cars round up the top five in the standings with Brock Nelson in the 51 Red Bull Ford and 124 fan in the number 83 Red Bull Chevrolet. So, uh, 100 laps here. Hopefully not too bad. Um, really, just the general thing is hopefully not too bad. Um, I think we'll do, like, if we have any lap car, like, cars that have damage, what we'll probably do is, if they're two seconds off a lap, I think we'll cut them off. And then if they're, like, a lap down, I can't obviously count that. But if they're, like, obliviously slow on the track, I'll have to manually get rid of them. But we'll see how that goes and if that becomes an issue or not. And we got Reggie Fogelman to be with us today. You got any initial thoughts for this one? No, I don't. Alrighty. Well, um, I don't know if he came back last race, but um, Cactus King, he's back. Number 08, Menards Dodge. So, he's back. And we didn't talk, get to talk about Isaac Jacobs as much. He made his debut last week. Unfortunately, he didn't get to get much further than what he did. He's got a top five starting spot today, so not too bad. But seeing as Martinsville, I uh, wouldn't place the expectations too high. In terms of finishing results, we know how Martinsville's been in the past seasons, so yeah, hopefully New Hampshire next week won't be chaotic. Hopefully this won't be chaotic. Um, the test shouldn't be too bad, but uh, never really too optimistic for the races here for the most part, so we'll just have to see how it goes and if it goes well or bad or not. And k, &K Racing has been a team that has had all the they have had really good speed but nothing to show for it unfortunately as they've been on front all, almost all their cars have had have been up front most of the season throughout all season just haven't had the results to show for it and none of them are doing well in standing as high they're all the low the highest one in standings of that team is 32nd in standings out of um i believe it's 43 cars in standings or no? 42, I think it would be right. I think 42 would be right. Might be 41. I'm not sure. One or the other. Um, out of that, they're not for, for faring so well in terms of finishing positions. So, eh, try to salvage something. They just had a bad year. Uh, last, last year they had a really good year. Their debut year. And uh, still, I think they still have that speed. I would even argue they have more speed now. They just don't have the results to show. Not yet. Same thing in Cup as well, but that's another division to diverse into on a later date. A little less than a minute before we get to the green here. Uh, TV1 cam, pretty nice cam, but I think Spectator may be our best bet for the overall shot. Let's see what TV2 provides. We'll see what TV2 provides around the racetrack if it becomes anything helpful. I don't have high expectations for it, but TV1's a little bit close up, so probably won't get too good of a broad view from it. But if we get to a point in the race where like longer flag like, run or something, we'll go spectator and go from there. Or do you want to call the green? Yeah, can we get to it? 10-4. All right. Uh, five seconds, and then we will go to the command, start the engines, and bring it to the green. Drivers, start your engines. Command has been given. Again, 100 laps. Uh, oh boy. Let's <laughs> try to torture myself once again. So. Hey, Zach, I'm going to do the green. I got to step out the booth just for a second. 10 for. Just whenever they start going. Or when they cross the line, whatever works for you. Green, green, green. Green flag in the air, and uh, the 99 had a really good start there. Might be able to clear in front of those six. Um, I'm gonna go off the game here. If the game considers it a jump, then we'll go off that. But if not, then they're good. 
We'll go spectator here for the first few laps. Oh, 99 in the wall off the exit. It allows Quadruped to get into position. You're maybe going around that 20 or get around that 99. Yeah, I can't with spectators. Like, staying on the same cam on the whole track. See if TV2 is any better. Looks better. Ah, uh, wide off exit. Oh. Oh, into the 23. Oh, they're around. Oh, big crash in the first straight. The caution is out. Zigzagoon to the lead after all that. And once again, Quadruped suffering from success. Looks like Nimrod's got some pretty nasty front end damage. Right there on the front straight on lap three. Or it looked like it was actually lap two coming to lap three. So let's see what happened. Um, I think Spectre really had our best shot. Um, so it looks like uh, they were kind of going through wide. This track can't fit through wide. 99 was going to make the corner anyway, and then 06 got hit. Caution did not come out, though. Oh, right in front of Nimrod. Teammates, mind you. But yeah, the caution did not come out until uh, that set that hit by Nimrod. So the leaders had not crossed the line yet at this point. And I believe the 06 got it. But let's just see again what happened to the... I don't think he hit anyone else other than the 75. 75 might have some nice damage. But the 29, just nowhere to go. R Wick Rare Racing has had zero luck. Same to say for Can Carry Racing. They've just had no luck in this season. They've had speed. They've proven it. They just haven't had any luck for that team in the Cup Series, or the Small Series. However, in the Cup Series, they found some pretty good success. So, um... Not all doom and gloom for Wick Rare Racing if you're a Wick Rare Racing fan. Uh, it looks like Nimrod has went ahead and called it a day. And it looks like the 99 was able to retake the lead at the line. So Potato Boy is going to take the lead from back from the pole sitter of Zigzagoon after a great start on the, or a great launch on the initial start. Again, no green flag or no. Uh, don't fall restart, so I'm actually going to pause real quick and make sure we get overtimes turned on just in case we need it. I hope we don't. But since Hello? Oh, my bad. Hello? We can hear you. The, 40, the 48 started in 19th. Is already 4th? I don't know where he started. I thought he started uh 6th, if I remember right. No, uh, Wilma started 6th. Oh, wait, that's right. Wilmot. Wilmot's not barely in the top 10 now. I don't think they got any damage. I think they just got a bad start there in that 88 team. But playing in real. Gee, she can climb up, I don't know, 15 spots to 48 car? Eh, I, I couldn't tell you. Let's not hit each other under pacing. It's not good. So back to the front. We're just going to let the pace car do its thing for, at this point. Early in the race, don't want to bottle up the field anymore than we have to. 99 looks like it has no side. I don't think the 99 has a lot of uh, damage on the left side. On the right side, I would imagine it has quite a bit. We're hitting that wall so many times. And then, of course, only one retiree from this race, and that being Nimrod. Which, again, we were talking about Wick Rare Racing and their woes of continuousness. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Nimrod, the only car out of the race at this point. Two car accident on lap two is why we're going to yell now. We're going to go green the next time by on lap 9 and get this thing hopefully going um, now the 23 I don't believe went to pit road came out of that and scored 24th on the board so we'll see what they're able to do in that 23 camp we'll go spectator for the start Reggie you want to call the green once again yeah I can again looks like 99 doesn't have a side there that's because camera's kind of far away and 20 year old game, it's not gonna be perfect. A little stack up there. Ring, ring, ring. Seeing a big stack up in the back of the pack there. Hopefully, it don't affect nothing too bad, but back to the front if we can. Oh! As far as getting tight off exit, it's gonna lead to some wall hits, but a pole sitter, Zigzagoon, he wants it back! Oh! Oh ho ho ho!
Zig Zagoon trying to get two in a row. Ah, that 99 car is so tight, and it looks like the caution is out. Once again, the 06 is going to take the lead. I believe the 99 may... Nope, 93's got it. And it looks like something on the front straight happened. It looks like our fifth place driver in points, the 83 of uh, Thunder 24 fan may have gotten involved. Let's take a look and see. Might have just been a single car spin. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, David Don looks like he got tight in the middle of the corner. Or something happened to David Don. See in the back there, Chief Squid hit the wall pretty good too. Chief Squid hit the wall pretty good. He saved it. Now let's take a look at Thunder 24 fan. And then you see David Don take a very high line there. Kind of. Yeah, it just looks like the 83 wasn't expecting to go that high, and then Tanker nowhere to go, and it's just a single car wreck. Oh boy, Cooper! Somehow no one else, somehow no one else involved in that. So we're gonna keep doing what the game's doing. It looks like the 83 may have some issues in the car. Get that thing going. They're gonna try to get that thing going once again. Back to the front. I believe it's the 06. Here's your leader. Hopefully, he didn't have any stack ups. That Kill anybody? That would have sucked. Um, 71 a lap down. I'm not sure. They may have some mechanical issues, or maybe something. I don't know. Patat and Holly. Really don't know how they got mired a lap down, but they did. I'm gonna be pretty pretty lenient and give them a lap back here once everyone gets gets their pacing decent. Everyone's in a straight line. Um, only car lap down, so might as well wave it. But, yeah, we see Chef Squid get the ANC in the back. He's really the only car in this field on the Rick Rare Racing that hasn't had any damage, but he's not the highest running either. Uh, 23 still holding up strong. But back to 06. They're looking pretty good. So, uh, yeah, really not a lot to unpack here. Isaac Jacobs running top 10 in his first, or really his second race. Didn't really have a chance to show what he had last race due to you know, that wreck that happened at Phoenix. The big one, I think it was. It looks like the 71 has went to pit road. Okay, I don't really understand that. I waved them and then they went to pit road. Okay. I. Okay. Fine, don't get your lap back. I guess, I don't know. Going green this time. Stacking up quite a bit there. Uh, Ridge, you want to try calling the green again? Yeah, yeah. I have some restart viola violations back there, but we'll let the game decide that. Uh, I know there are some cars trying to pass each other before the green flag is waved. So again, I'll just let the game decide on that. But Tufty Terror all over the back of the 06 right now. Oh, they wreck. They save it. Caution's out, though. Something unrelated, I imagine. I believe the scoring is as so on the board. 75 is able to get around the 99. Oh, uh, I'm guessing this person in last to be able to say something. Looks like uh, Riley Gorson pit road along with the 54. 
Oh, Chef Squid. He is getting tight there a little bit. Go Spectator. Oh, three wide. That's not going to work. In, in turn one, though, by the way, it looks like... Oh, yeah, Marco Lennard shoved up there, kind of... Ran out of racetrack. I'm having a gorse, and... Uh, were they one of those? I bet those were the some of the cars that had those restart violations I was talking about. On the start, some cars didn't uh, quite go when they were supposed to, and had to serve a violation. So back to live. I don't think well. Uh, it doesn't look like uh, waving is going to be a thing I'm going to do. So we're just going to lap plus that 71 car once we go back green. But back to the front, I think the 06 still has the lead. Or no, Tufty Turd it ended up taking the lead. And er, despite all this, everyone's still in the race. No issues, so. This may end up being just a caution fest. Hard laps filled with cautions. It was just something. It looks like 54 has some damage repair they have to work on. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that 54 car. But, but we know that the 71... The deservance of a lucky dog. I'm not worried about pace minusing. I don't really want to bunch up the field. You know how short tracks are. If you go too early, it's going to cause some problems. But I think it looks like it doesn't look like it's going to make too much of a difference anyway. But I'm going to try to control it what I can. But seeing that 71 is two laps down, it may make this caution a little bit longer. That way they can get the service they need in an adequate amount of time. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Take a look, quick look at our top 10. It looks like Ange Johnson. Top 10. Interesting. Yeah, we were talking about Marker Lennard involved in that rookie. He, uh, was second in standings coming to this, tied with Exo for that spot. So I'm pretty sure that might affect some things points-wise if he isn't able to recover. But despite all that, still running 31st. Granted, that's not good. But then same at Austin's 24th. That's not great. And where's Exo? Exo is 11th, so not bad of a run for Exo. I'd argue that Exo has had the most consistent runs all season. Um... They have the most top 10s with 6 out of 10 races. That's pretty decent good average. Only car with 6 top 10s. Closest to that is Sam Oskin, who's a points leader with 5 top 10s. Sam has 2 wins, Exo has none. Going green this time. Once again, noticing some cars jumping the start in the back. Again, I'll let the game decide on that. Well, so far we've seen no patience whatsoever on any passes, and have just seen the most insane... Wow, okay, they're going to do it again. Looks like it. And Zigzagoon takes the lead just like that, as the caution is out once again, it looks like. Really, that sucks. I'd like to get some racing going. Five's got some heavy damage. It might have just been from a stack up. But once again, the lead has swapped. 16 back in pit road. Oh, I forgot to get that. Somebody want to lap back. Ah, shoot. Can I do it still? Dang it. Okay. I may have to get an export changer to make sure I finish them on the lead lap because they technically deserve to be on the lead lap. Uh, like 37's done. So second retiree of the race. Let's see what happened.
looks like Exo involved. Just got turned around in the back straight, and then a lot of cars involved. Cole, Clifton, uh, looks like Cooper, who was already dead last, and uh, the 46 of Craig Packers. They didn't take much to kill the engine of the 37. Just took that one hit, surprisingly. But uh, Once again, the Reigns have swapped in the lead. But we noticed our, our the second place car in points EXO involved in that. No surprise that uh, Riley Gorse done for the day. He had an heavy impact there. Uh, Kirk Pockers the lap down. Uh, uh, Ryan Cole, obviously, and no surprise, out of the race after that. We are now a quarter of the way through this, what is looking to be a caution test. Oh, Lord. It was starting off to be just full spins, and now that, that was a full on just bad wreck there. Try to get this 71 some laps back, because he deserves to be on a late lap at this point. With the big bigger wreck, I would imagine the caution might be a little bit longer. Never mind, we're going green this time. So I'm going to give the 71 both their laps back if I can. Mainly just focusing on that. We'll go spectator just in case so y'all can see the start and who jumps it and probably won't get penalized by the game, but. At this point, I'm just letting the game throw penalties for that. Because you're going to stack up that bat on a restart. I mean, you shouldn't serve the game to keep those spots anyway, in my opinion. Green, green, green. All right, so anyone should be back on the lead lap. Oh, no. I know, he went to pit road again. You know what? Screw that. <laughs> All right, if you're pitting, it's your problem. Still green, by the way. We made a whole green lap. Let's see if we can get a run going. Oh! Oh, the 60, no, 06 hard in the wall. A lot of cars are back hard in the wall. Doesn't look like we have a yellow. Oh, battle for the lead. Oh, the 75s are around on the straight. Oh, big crash. A lot of cars on pit road. I was talking about those restart violations. I'd imagine what those are for. And we were just talking about Azrael Dreamer. Or I really wasn't talking about him, but they were up front all the way, all race long. Hadn't led any laps, unfortunately. Tight on exit. No patience. Nowhere to go. Six Zagoon also caught pretty bad. Wilmot, Isaac Jacobs. Really the only cars I think that were heavily involved. Isaac Jacobs is going to head straight to the pit road. Does not need this in the second start. And you see uh, Potato Boy as well, who uh, led some laps here there in the beginning of the race. He's in the pit road now. now. Some of these guys might be on fuel strategies, but we will see. So, since the 70, 71 refuses to stay on the lap, we're just going to put the 54 as the lucky dog next time around. But yeah, the 06 also in pit road. I wonder if the 93 pitted, and they did not pit. 45, I th is they even... Okay, I think the 45, I can wave them. There's no point in them being here. There's no point in them being... Uh, I think those six had damage issues. Uh, they definitely did. They were involved in that big wreck. So the 33 Isaac Jacobs will go second race in a row. Will not finish. Yeah. Martinsville, Phoenix. Not a, not a very track to make your first two starts at. 
or not very good, two good tracks, but yeah, that's relative. Rimmer's still in it, but they lost all that track position they had. Almost a new top ten. Wilmot may try to come here, sneak a couple, sneak a couple laps, led get get a couple extra points. It's always a safe bet. Tufty Terror, I think they won some races last year. They're, they're always a decent bet on the if you have fantasy picks or something. But yeah, took out a lot of the contenders. Ninety three has quite a bit of damage. So does the eighty eight. So I think the best car in just terms of just aerodynamics right now is Cactus King. With no damage whatsoever. When you uh, Wilmot, we don't know if their car is running okay because they just hit that 75 square on the side. So we don't know if it's going to be running good or not after this. But it looks like a 54 uh, Skyler Taylor free pass. 45 t technically got locked behind one of the cars, but they got their lap back for free because of. One of them pitted, I guess. I don't know. But no one's two laps down now, so that's good. But uh, these lap down cars, probably going to be a few of those for the end of the race at this point. I didn't think there'd be so many go lap down there at that point. And then there are cautions and pitting and damage and all that. Free pass goes to 54. I'll just score them their lap because wave around didn't seem to work when I did it with the 71. Who Every time I gave them their lap back, they went to pit road to repair some damage or something, I guess. I don't know. Green, green. Big sins in turn one. Cactus King making it very clear he wants around the 88. 88 get in the wall a little bit. 93 taking a huge lead as Caution's already back out. What the heck. 93 is going to lead him back to the yellow. And Quadruped somehow back in the top 10. What the heck. Uh... Okay. Who's plummeting in standings? Well, we're talking about pitch drive. It looks like uh, Jeff Squid got spun out. Oh, yeah, this is... Or no, it might be a mechanical failure. Oh my gosh, Pace and Avery! Oh my gosh! Pace and Avery! Flipping down the back straight. At Martinsville, that was not an engine failure on the 99. Oh my gosh. Ah, let's go. Oh my gosh. Does TV1 have anything good? Yeah, Azrael Dreamer hits the wall. Boom. Barrel rolls. Never seen anything like that in my life. Tita Boy, nowhere to go. The 91, nowhere to go. The 58, 83, nowhere to go for any of those cars. All of them being lapped down, too. Holy cow. That was bad. Both 71, 58 out of the race. No surprise. 83 is probably done. 99 is probably done. 93 with a fat lead after that. Despite all things, that's all they have right now is that fat lead. But we were talking about. And then the 88 got swallowed like a pie on that restart. And then Quadruped, somehow, despite all that damage, and getting wrecked early in the race, is back in fifth. So, free pass goes to Sustre. Well, if you want to watch breakfast. This is it. But man, Pace and Avery took quite the tumble in the back straight there. Got hit by the 75, or I think. Uh, still in it. Yeah, I can see him there. Still about where they were. They've gained a few spots, not much. Exo is also inside the top 10 now. 
but uh yeah that's rough and then got hooked between that and then got hit square in the nose by the 07 to jet 64 and launched him into a barrel down the back street leading potato boy had nowhere to go Matanha, who i had just scored several laps for had nowhere to go and melinda jones had nowhere to go and then Thunder 24 fan also had nowhere to go. I think all of those cars are out of the race. Every single one of those cars I just mentioned are out of the race. So, um, if I'd survive here, only got 30 cars left. Some of those cars that were wrecked out are, were a lap down. So, if they survive and whatever happens, we might see some cars get their laps back. It's a game of, just a game of that, really. Pace cars in, coming off of four. Green flag back in the air here at Martinsville. See how long they survive this time. Cax King gonna go for the dive. He could definitely use a lap lead at this point. Heck he, oh, he slid it in really deep. Oh, boy. Alex Nvidial in the 98 is going to take it. Yeah, that, that 808 sent it in very deep as no surprise around the yellow. Uh, Grant, I think they're racing back. I think this 93 might be able to get him, get him here to the race back. Oh, oh, oh. Man, every lap led is a point. Well, no, no, it's not, but that lead is so important. It looked like the 46 Craig Pockers was on the bottom there. Might have involved, been involved in that wreck that came out for the yellow, so... Okay, actually, this looks like it's happened after the caution already came out. Oh, there's a plow. Oh, and the 46 just had issues and had to park it. Okay. So... 54 looks like they have damage. I had just scored them back on the lap. What the heck? I'd imagine they are the reason for our yellow. Or it might not have been actually, but they were involved in something. Just missed the exit, then Ian Styles just did it. And that happened, it didn't throw a yellow, so. Okay. Anyone will see it, it's Cooper. Let's go spectator. Oh, big wreck on the front straight. Okay. Looks like Rabina Gonzalez is involved. He just missed the corner straight up. He was in fourth, too, or fifth. I just straight up missed it. And Exo involved. Wilmot with a second hood hit. That's that. Still in the race, though. Somehow. <laughs> Free pass. Um, uh, give it to the... Give it to the 30. Unfortunately, I don't think Alex and Vidal, despite the rookie start, had a really just got a good spot there. The 08 of Cax King sent it in too deep. Knew he did. Backed out wisely so. And allowed... This is 98 to take the lead. However, that 93 had such a good run on the exit, they were able to get back around him to take the yellow flag when the caution had came out. So, that 93 is a decent contender for most laps led here. However, I'm not even halfway yet, and a lot can still happen. <laughs> Wait. So, Cooper, they started last place, by the way, in, thir in 30 and 28th. They're going to get the free pass. So this has got a lot of damaged cars in this field at this point. So the 46, with their issues, they're three laps down now after having to... Whatever they did in the front straight. I don't know why they did that, but they did. So they're three laps down. And they're just trying to survive the race at this point. Back to the front, though. Uh, Puffy Terror... On the, perhaps a reign of terror, we will see. 
would like to note, we did a race here last season. Late in the season. It was very uneventful. Unlike this race. It was... I think we had a few lurks at the beginning, and then... The 51 of Brock Nelson ended up winning that. He is currently 5th right now. Take that back. He, or no, yeah, he's still currently 5th right now. So, keep an eye on that 51. Granted, the circumstances are much different. But, they could still come back and win this. Could. Pace car is in. And we are in for another grand... Whatever. <laughs> Green flag back in the air, the 93 had a great start there. Let's go back to TV2 and then we'll wait for the yellow to come out and we'll go from there. They might make it a few laps more, but I wouldn't bet. Wow, wow, big, big whoa. Okay, big battle for a second, but 23 almost died. Still survived though, despite that. Cactus King going to take second. Aggressively, 98's in the wall. 32's in the wall. A lot of cars in the back in the wall. Five cars in the wall. They might be dead. They're dead. I wouldn't have thrown a yellow for that. But the game might have. Where's my lights? I need to see the caution lights. Yeah, the caution was out for that. Alright. Now, Brandon Nelson... I think he done hit the wall too hard. Nah, he had some help. Looks like 75. This isn't the 75's first defense. Nah, he, nah, he was just an innocent bystander. Nowhere to go. 94 hits. No one else really hits. Pretty good avoidance by everybody. Yep. After that, free pat. Or, well, I was supposed to give it to 30. I forgot. So I believe the 93 is still the leader. So I got a lap plus the 30, and then I got a lap plus whoever's, whoever's after that. Now if it comes late in the race and I forget to lap plus somebody, it's not going to matter because they're not going to change any positions. So 54 and 30, get their laps back. When we go green, again. But yeah, that last wreck, just bad spot. Uh, 75 was just... Uh, Driving, five card, hit the wall. Look, looked like to me, Grant 75 probably squeezed him, but. Oh well. How much do you want to bet we're going to have a damaged car win this? And by damaged, I mean, like, cosmetic from something other than hitting the wall. Chris Green, I think almost every car in this field has hit the wall at least once. Um, talking about like, got some pretty nasty front end damage, some left side damage, some rear end damage. Heck, who will, who who knows? Maybe some roof damage. But uh, a lot of race. We have just passed halfway. Oh, if you like watching Rex. This is it. This is the place you gotta be. You've come to the right place for the right time. Going green this time? I'd like to. Nope. Hopefully next time. I don't think Craig Pockers being three laps down helps our case much, but he's, I guess. Imagine if this was double fall restarts, this would be rough. By rough, I mean impossible. It's already impossible as is, but double file restarts? It's like this, but ten times worse. Well, I say ten times worse, but two times worse, because... You got the two lines, except there's two of them. You got that line, except there's two of them. And let's say you got one person sending it, you got three people sending it, and you got five wide to turn one, and it never works. Three wide, it doesn't even work. But, yeah. 
Echo Green this time. I'm going to cute my thing, make sure I get the 30 and 54 of their laps back. I'll wait till they cross the line. Both those drivers have been scored their laps back to the racing, or whatever this is. Oh, oh wait, he wants it. Cactus King wants it. He's going to wreck for it. That's not on Cactus King, but you get the gist. Alex and Vidiel is going to go for a second. It's Cactus King's taking the lead. 93 is in the wall once again. And he's going to get passed by potentially, oh boy, this doesn't look good. Somehow they make it, but Alex and Duda lost a lot of speed there. David Don, name we haven't heard in a hot minute. Who is in, who's that in front of the 08? Thought I seen someone in front of Cactus King. It was back to the wreck that's about to happen. That didn't happen somehow. David Don, somehow, in third. Uh, the Scotch flag eventually flies. I knew it was going to fly sooner or later. Look, uh, something happened in the back. So I think we had a decently three, three lap run there. 75, looks like they might have been involved in yet another accident. Alright, let's say they're pitting. Oh, this happened in the front straight. Double zero, got in the 88. That's another hit for the 88. 75 never to go. That might be it for the 75. That was a pretty nasty hit. Andy Johnson also involved. I thought I seen something on the, the back street though, some smoke. Didn't I? Caution was already out. And the caution was already out, so something happened here in the back straight before that wreck even happened. I think. Oh. Thought, thought something happened back here. Suppose not. Oh well. Back live. So, looks like the 75 is done for the day. No surprise. And uh, Marco Lennard, second in points coming into this race, is going to get the free pass. We'll get that green flag run soon. Or late. I don't know. But Cax King leading his first laps of the race. David Don has snuck up here into third. Alex and Video has also snuck up in here, so leaving Tustin Terror there in fourth. Let's take a quick look at our top five or top ten. So, uh, interesting names. I will say that. Interesting positions for those interesting names as well. I say Alex and Video. Granted, everyone has side damage, but. All things considered, they don't have a lot of damage. Granted, I think this top three all have pretty decently clean race cars. Uh, even Tufty Terror, I think, has pretty decently clean race cars as well. Uh, those seven, I, I don't think they do. I think they were involved in that one wreck with the 91, taking that barrel roll. Probably got some nasty crunchy brunchy on that front end. Uh, you got Caden Williams there in sixth. Exo there in seventh. Uh, eighth place, uh, Byron Webb. Brian Webb, my bad. Um, and somehow, uh, Quadrup is still holding up in the top 10. And then Qu uh, Brock Nelson also still running and in the top 10 as well. Oops, sorry, we go green. We get the one to go sign from the base car this time and get this thing over with as soon as we can because it's. I don't think we're going to get much green flag racing in, to be fair. A spectator, just to be safe. Prepare beyond rushing. They were 
response to this. The most common side effects are injection site pain. All right. And we're good. We flag them back in the air. 93 once again. Looks like they might lose some spots. And they just lost a spot. See how long they can last till we get a yellow. David Don. Ooh. Oh. Cactus can't hit the wall. We still green. Oh, we going for it. He going for it. David Don's going to send it for the lead. David Don's taking the lead. Wow. Did not expect that. It's Cactus King. Still holding on in second. Barely. Alex and Video. Caden Williams. I think someone else snuck up there too. I think that's Jet 07. 45 and Pit Road. Still green. Longest green flag run so far, I think. 45 coming out of Pit Road now. Oh, they. Oh, okay. Uh, we green? Yeah, we stay green. He just wrecked him. They're three wide to one. Someone's got to back out. Oh. Brock, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. The back. They're wrecking. Did he save it? No. Your leader's in the wall. Your points leader's in the wall. Big wreck, Ian Styles. Caution is out. Oh. Again, the longest screen talk run of the day at a costly price. Jet 07, or Jet 64, taking the lead in that 07 car. He's looking for win number two of his career. He went at Talladega earlier this season. Um, he might like, he might get win number two today. But anyways, back to the wreck. We've seen Ian Stiles come out of pit road too. Unfortunately, that might be all he wrote. But let's take a look and see what happened. And the wreck carried on for quite a bit. And your points leader... Team Oskin involved. Let's go TV1 real quick. Looks like the... Let's go slow-mo, actually. So 22-57 got together into the one. Looks like the good old-fashioned squeeze. And, and one car got a little too far ahead. Looked like he might have been able to save it there with the grace of the wall. But alas, it was not enough. Hard hit there for Clifton and Oskin. 22 comes up, hits a 94. 94 has been involved in a couple wrecks. And double zero, able to break. Not, 45 did not. 22 gets plowed. Mark Lennard, second in standings, gets hit. And yeah, a lot of damage cars out of, after that one. Somehow, some way, that one car stole in this race. I could not tell you, but they are. Same can be said for the 22. And I doubt the 57, I would be less surprised because they probably had the least damage of the few. And he's, okay, he's the one that's out, okay. 46, or no, 46, Craig, 45, he's done, no surprise. So back to leader, Jet07. We got way too many laps to go. But points leader, he's he's done. Granted, he's not going to get his late points lead taken away, but it's definitely going to make the points battle much more interesting. The double zero will be getting a free pass. After that. So, lap plus for Benny Gonzalez. Granted, I don't know if I'm going to be able to give back the double zero their lap, because this, the way this game treats that double way. zero numbers is kind of weird. But, um, I do, if the d zero zero don't work, then, uh, I'll try, like, 2,000. And then we'll see what that does. Because I know sometimes when it says in the chat when, like, a double zero, a, a zero number has something happen, it says like 2,000, whatever that number is. I can't see any on the immediate thing on our chat bar, but something's there. Going green this time. Two zero numbers actually leading the field. Jet, or Jet 64 and those 07 and Cactus King and the 08.
remembered well together. Green flag is back in the air. Brendan Gonzalez back on the lead lap. Should be. If not, made a little upset. And it looks like Caden uh, Williams is going to challenge David. Okay, never mind. It's not going to challenge David Don. David Don is going to get past pretty quick there. Probably should have went to the leaders because they're wrecking. Somehow, they did not wreck. Granted, that 08 just lost all that track position. 98 in the wall hard. 07, I believe, still the leader. Yep, Caden Williams hot in his tail. And Caden Williams. Oh, gonna slide him off the track. That was a dirty move. I'm going to sugarcoat it. Oh, XO. Gives a lot of room that 32 car. They know what the deal is here. Bam, fighting hard with that 25. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. They will not lead the lap. Did we stay green? We do. They save it. Holy cow. David Don in the lead. Never mind. He's wrecked. Oh, Dexo gets spun. That's a caution. David Don saved it. Exo did not. David Don not happy with Caden Williams. Caden Williams is desperate for a win. Holy cow. Long route flag run, but Exo got demolished there by somebody. It cost him a ton of track position they had. Potentially looking to lead a lap there, but unfortunately, uh, did not. They were, it had an epic save at, at, at the in the process, but was not able to get the lap led. So let's see what happened to David Dawn first. I know they, him and Caden about wrecked off a of two. Let's go helicopter for this. They about wrecked off a of two. Somehow saved it. However, the 32 and whoever was racing him, I think it was. Uh, it looks like Jet. It looked like he had him, and then. Yeah, Jet just straight up wrecked him. I don't really know where to put it. That cost them a ton of spots that they could have definitely used. Fires them all the way to 21st. They were running top 10 almost all day. Yeah, it's not over yet. But, that's not. I mean, they, they don't really exactly have a top 10 streak, but. They would definitely like to get another top 10 today as they were looking like they had a really good chance of doing it. I think the leader is uh, Caden Williams in the 25. That would be correct. So any cars, it's okay. It looks like, okay. Really, double zero didn't get their lap back. Uh, okay. And at this point, I'm not touching it. 22 is going to stay two down and Craig is staying three. So I'm not messing with it at this point. Top five. Let's take a look at that again, because it's the only thing interesting to look at under caution. Because I don't feel like lowering the pace speeds. Because I don't want to bunch up the field and cause problems, even though the problems are still happening anyway. But I better say I'm sorry. Marco Lenard still holding on. Top ten right now, potentially for Marco Lenard if he's able to hold it. But Caden Williams, David Don, David led some laps. Uh, Brock Nelson, last the fall winner last year, he's still here. Could potentially still win he's third. Jet, after dumping the 32, he's still fourth. Could potentially get his second career win. Dick Zagoon's not out of ever getting two in a row. Jeremy Frey hasn't won in a long time. He's still holding on pretty decently in standings. Pax Kuzart hasn't had a win in a hot minute. Hasn't won since Daytona last season. Cactus King hasn't won in a long time. And one of his first races back, he was gone for a bit. We're just talking about Marco Lennard and Tough to Terror, who led a, yeah, a few laps at the beginning. I think probably 
the contender for most laps led that 93 car is, but we'll see when the export comes out. Going green this time by, I'm pretty sure. Again, I'm not going to touch it in terms of the pace minus and all that because I don't want to jumble the, jumble the field anymore. It's already jumbled up. Rather it be a mild breakfast than a complete total disgrace. Which it already is, but salvage what we can. Jaden Williams, I don't believe, has won a Smos race. He's got two cup wins. One at Orlando in 2021. One at Talladega, I believe, in 2022. Green flag back in the air. Caden Williams leads us to green. Zig's Goon getting shuffled out by the three pretty quick. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a nasty hit in the wall. I'd imagine David Don's not pleased with Caden after almost wrecking him there. I guess uh, we, I thought we were going to see him wreck him, but I guess... Okay. Um, Bart Nelson going to go for the spot now. Watch for any cars in the back spit out into the infield, or not the infield, but the outside or the inside wall. Brock having a lot of patience here. He knows he's been racing here a little bit longer than most. Oh, slides right underneath that 25. Nice move there. Oh, 25 done like, oh, with the back. Oh, zigzagoons around. Caution's out. David Don is going to be your leader at the caution. Oh, 22 might have plowed in and wrecked himself out of the race. Yeah, he's mad. I think Marco Lennard looks like 22 heavy damage on the bottom. They are stopping. I imagine they hit that 0 6 pretty good. But let's see what happened. I think Marco Lennard got side by side with him down to the wall. Thought they were going to save it, but unfortunately didn't. This isn't th in the top 10, by the way. We're just talking about Marco Lennard being inside the top 10. Straight up dumped him. And then over the, the 22 just kind of plows in. I don't know the way to put that. Exo in pit road. I don't understand that. Still on the track though. He's mired back more than what he was before, unfortunately. Um, if it's the double zero still lap down, and it's not gonna let me give them their lap back, so I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, there's still only car lap down. 32 still on the lead lap, I think. No, 32 is two laps down. Okay. It was the 22, but the 22 is out of the race now after that accident with the, with the 32. They pretty much just screwed themselves, pretty much, that uh, 22 did. But David Don, prime position right now, almost won Pocono, almost almost won another track, too. I know he's always anticipating getting that first win. He could really do it this season. He's had the speed, had the card, go forth, Motorsports, brand new team. Alliance with, I believe they are, or they were alliance with uh, Salamander Incorporated a little bit. Granted, Salamander Incorporated has done somewhat poorly. So technically, David Don, and te very, 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 very technically, like they're not even official. Like I don't even think they're officially connected, but like technically, they're t like in an alliance of sort. The 25 and the six. So having a bit of a rivalry right now, I think. But it won't matter because they didn't hit each other that second time. Three Fords in the top three as well. That's an interesting note. I'm going to try to do lap plus 2000 on the next one and see if that gives it to the double zero or if that crashes my game. If it crashes my game, then we'll call it with the results we have and I'll have to count every lap and go through and hey, lead what and. Do it the old-fashioned way, because that's the way I used to do it back before I started doing exports. And before all that, like 2021, that's how I did it. I went through every single lap to make sure, see who led it, instead of just reading the export, because I didn't know how to do exports. And I just went through every single lap, see who led what, gave them a point for each lap led, because that's the way we did it back, back then. And I also uh, had counted through what I had 
to give the Millsap Sled. And I also, whilst doing that, when I looked at the... Uh, I didn't save replays either. I like did these like right after I recorded the race. I would make sure to stay in the weekend and go back and look at it before that. Because I didn't know how to... Or I, I might have knew how to save replays, but I didn't. It was 32 to go to the back for being not on the lap, so... Man. That stinks. Stinks for them. So, we're going to be going 10 to go this time. How much do you want to bet we're going to have overtime? I think he's asleep. Are you asleep, Reggie? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> he's the commentator. I might have fallen asleep. Um, we're back green. Or not a commentator, I guess. Supposed to be commentating. Jet 07 in the wall in the back. 17 may go for the spot with the 25. We're just talking about the 25. 6 is going to hit the wall. Brock Nelson might have a shot. He's going to go for it. But Brian Webb also underneath. Oh, no one's giving right now. Does they know this is for the win? 17 clear, or nope, 51 clears. Very clean. Still green. 17 and Brian, or nope, we're under caution now. I don't know if they crossed the line or not. Regardless, uh, nope, doesn't look like they did, because other, otherwise the 6 probably wouldn't have got wrecked there. But the 17, if my calculation, if we didn't cross the line yet, I think we're crossing the line here. Byron Webb, going to take the lead to the yellow. He's looking for his first career win, by the way. Rail Fan Motorsports has not won a Smos race since 2022 with NH the Introvert, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and the 17. Or no, I think that's incorrect. I think I'd have to go back and check and see because I know they didn't get a single win last season um, with their two cars they had. The 17 of uh, Brian Webb and Vince Freeze, they had zero wins last season. I forgot to give... Well, it didn't matter anyway, because they were probably weren't going to get their lap back. But Yeah, at this point, I'm not going to give any more laps back. 93's, 93 went a lap down? Dang. Okay. Well, I didn't even take a look and see what the caution came out for. It probably might have been for the 93. You might have seen it, though. Oh my gosh, he's snoring. <laughs> I'm dead. I may hold. I may save him some embarrassment. Well, I don't want him to wake up and be server muted. Be like, wait, why am I server muted? Oh, I can see it in the back. The 25. Caden Williams. He was leading there for a bit. Got wrecked. Okay. And Jet. And Mark Leonard. Mark, you just shouldn't have sent it through wide. But regardless, that happened. Oh, Matt. Okay, Matthew Hill got hit. I right, know, I think that's all that happened. Pretty small wreck, all things considered. So, here's the thing. Under five to go. Um, so, I think we'll probably make it to the white if we get a green-white checkered. Or granted, if the race goes and we get a, a caution on the white flag, well, granted, right next to the flag is going to end the race, I think. Now, if the game says otherwise, we'll roll with it. I... I it's been a hot minute since we've done overtimes, but we'll see what happens. Got an interesting top three, top five, top ten at that. So, we will see what happens. This race has stunk. But if you like watching Wreckfest, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that like button, and subscribe. And uh, I just said the same thing twice. Um, share. Get the word out. This guy makes Wreckfest sometimes kind of inconsistent who cares about consistency anyways uh, we're agreeing with the pace car wants to go green because I don't want to pace minus yeah 32 is not getting that top 10 today they're not getting much on 57 either 66 might do something though but they're not going to get much regardless. This is going to be a decent game changer in points, though, I think, nonetheless.
going green this time. So here's the situation. We're going to go green with two laps to go in the race. This won't be overtime. We're going green lap 99 of 100. If we go green for a lap and it stays green until lap 100, we hit lap 100. Don't finish lap 100, but hit lap 100. If we hit the light flag and it's still green, the next flag is going to end it. Or, well, it doesn't even matter. Next time they cross the line, wherever they finish, it's going to be where they finish. If we get a yellow before they go green, which we're green now, okay. Brock versus the web. One has a couple wins, one has none. He sends it. They touch, they hit. Here comes David Don. White flag in the air. Next flag is going to end it. Byron Webb. He's got the run. Does anything? Ha does anyone have anything for Byron Webb? Mark Lennard gets hit and wrecked on the last lap by Quadruped. Rightfully so. He's been a menace. Webb hits the wall. But no one has a run. Webb's going to win it here at Martinsville. Technically went to lap 101, but the race is over. Byron Webb will win here at Martinsville. Unless the caution did come out before the white. I don't think it did, though. Yeah, no. Race is over. Byron Webb is your winner. Marco Lennard, not happy with Quadruped, but he's been a menace this race. <laughs> All that trying to get points and it's wrecked on the last lap. Yeah, he was not happy. All this for, looked like fourth place. Yeah, it's Quadruped slid up. Or no, six, six came down on him, wrecked himself. Great, he's still going to finish ahead of Exo, but by much and uh yeah are they wrecked to the line for some positions I think there was a couple cars that might have wrecked to the line anyways I don't think it mattered much interesting top 10 well I think our uh other guy done fell asleep so I'm not I'm gonna keep this short and sweet and not to mention we're already going past hour 08. So um, for me, this is uh, Smoss, uh, Reggie Fogelman as well. Thank you thank him for calling the green a couple times he did. Um, we will see you next race. And uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share.